So let's go look at the rest of the house. Every space was bursting with stuff and it hadn't been touched since the 1970s. My favorite room in the whole house is the... Come on. This is the reason why we bought this house. Welcome back. We're gonna pick up where we left off and take you on a tour through the rest of our house in Tuscany before we start the renovation process. Don't worry if you missed part one of the tour, you can check it out here. Let's take you through the entire second floor, or as it's called in Europe, the first floor. As I mentioned in our house tour part one, the previous owner had hoarded a bunch of old furniture and junk and the basement was by far the worst. Every space was bursting with stuff and it hadn't been touched since the 1970s. Here the previous owner kept a rainy day stockpile of doors and scrap wood for future projects around the house. There was even a wooden boat from the 1950s that had been stored here for the last 40 years. The only walkable space was through the center. Every square meter was completely full of stuff. This is what put off every other buyer and caused the house to sit on the market for years, patiently waiting for us to buy it. Thanks to our sale contract, everything had to be cleared out. We really didn't think it would happen, but after they spent three weeks removing junk from the house, it was finally empty and what a transformation. No more boat. The basement felt enormous after it was cleared out and we were finally able to see the walls. So let's go look at the rest of the house and see. The first floor was originally intended to be two small apartments, each with their own kitchen. This room didn't seem like much when we first saw the property, but now we could see it being the perfect primary bathroom complete with a sea view. You should have seen our contractor's face when we told him our idea. It's not usual in Italy to have such a luxuriously large bathroom, but we wanted to have our own primary suite. Right off of the bathroom will be our primary bedroom. We'll create a foyer to connect the two rooms. Luckily, we were able to convince the previous owners to leave this gorgeous original furniture. Can you believe it was gonna be tossed? Since all of our savings is going towards the renovation, we're planning to find someone who can give these pieces a little love and bring them back to life. Something we'll be sure to share in a future video. Here is the closet and it has the same exact plan as the bathroom below. The solution that we had was to go ahead and extend this wall here to come out about here. As I said, we'd have a foyer to enter the master suite. So we would close it off here and you would be able to go into the bedroom here or into the bathroom. All right, let's go and see the other rooms that are on this floor. This is one of the largest bedrooms in the house. We're still trying to figure out exactly what we would like to do with it. We would love your ideas. Let us know in the comments what you would do with the space. This large bathroom has its original minty green fixtures. Needless to say, this bathroom remodel will be on the top of our to-do list. This is the second kitchen on this floor that we will convert into a bathroom. As the house is now, before the renovation, the house has three kitchens. We love the granite fireplace, but it doesn't make any sense in the small kitchen because of the poor ventilation. We would like to move it somewhere else within the house, but we're unsure where we would put it.
And here we have actually um, a place that he built in with shutters even um, for firewood. So you can hide the firewood, but this isn't a normal kind of thing. If you step outside of the kitchen through its double doors, you'll find a small wraparound balcony with the forest directly behind the back wall. Another really cool thing about this room is that we found this calendar here that is from 1976 that has not been touched or moved. Right off of the second kitchen is a small bedroom that will be another guest bedroom. A nice touch on this floor are the original molding details. All right, so let's go see the other side of this floor. This guest bedroom is identical to the guest bedroom on the ground floor, but this one has beautiful double doors and molding details. So a quick recap. We currently have five bedrooms throughout the entire house. My favorite room in the whole house is the dining room. We will transform this dining room into the perfect family room. We still get goosebumps every time we step into this room. You really get to enjoy the sea view thanks to the wraparound balcony. Of course, nothing can be perfect. They're gonna essentially chip away and see what's really uh, damaged and replace that. Because the property had been abandoned, we knew it needed major renovation. Here you can see some of the uh, water damage that we have. And we also have water damage along that side there. We'll definitely be repurposing the old furniture and decor. We love the original chandelier, but need to figure out if it will stay or go into another space since this won't be a formal room. I really do love um, those funky chairs. So let's go up to the rooftop terrace. This is the reason why we bought this house. We were in complete awe from the spectacular sea view. I imagine us enjoying our cup of coffee here every morning. The terrace, like everything else, needs a little bit of TLC and furniture in time for summer. We're thinking of putting big comfy sofas and a large coffee table to enjoy every evening sunset. You can even see the islands of Corsica and Capraia. Thanks so much for joining us on the second part of our house tour. It's been so much fun showing you the house before we kick off the renovation. Join us in our next video as we share our plans for the start of our Tuscan renovation. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release videos.